Hi, I'm Boons. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a, an adapter for your hand auger that works on your drill. So, what you're going to want to start off with is uh, the little wig nut. Mine's all uh, shattered, but uh, you want to save that, because that's going to go right back in into place. So, I got a struggle, but hopefully uh, yours isn't broken, and this is um, a Normac. Hopefully I said that right, Nor our Normac. Uh, Hand auger. Now there's the adapter part that I made. It's just uh, PVC. PVC pipe with your T. Three quarter inch. And then uh, the pipe that fits inside the auger. I don't know if different augers have different size of pipes inside, so. But I just welded up a nut at the end. The drill goes on the nut. Then I welded a collar to stop the, the pipe from going up and down and then jams that in between the auger and and that. So you don't have to worry about losing your auger because you're always hanging on to it. It's bolted in at the bottom. And then uh, that's the piece that I made uh, because I have a welder, but I'm going to try to show everybody how to make one without, uh, without a welder, if I can, so, I got my pipe with my collar, just have to figure out the length, have another project off the side here, taking up some room, so, So there, that'll go into your, your auger, and then drill a hole. I want to make it easier for you. Put the auger in the vise. I don't have a drill bit ready to go, but. There's a big hole, then there's a small hole. Like on the bolt, there's like a little sleeve. Just drill in one side so you don't hit the, the threads and have to re-thread it. And so I suggest if you want a guide, you can put it in like that and then drill your hole through here. So Then you know you're you're in the center and take it out like I'm doing. That way there you don't mess up the tr the threads on this side here. Instead of fingering the safe, you finger that like button. Or finger the safe, finger your vice. Finger that like button. And I'll put your nut back in. Just gonna tighten her up just a little bit there, not all the way. You get the idea. Now I need a handle. I made the other one, the one that I welded up. It was six inches long. But I figured maybe make it a little bit longer. That way there, if there's ever a little bit of mishaps, it's not going to fit through the, the hole that the auger is going to make. It's going to get jammed in there, so. Might make it two inches longer this time. Do an eight inch piece instead.
There. Ta-da! Just gotta figure out something for you guys if you don't have a welder. Well, found the bolt. And uh, two different ways you can do it. Either a steel, steel sleeve, because you gotta bridge the gap. There's a little gap. I'm just gonna use a rubber hose. It's a little bit easier uh, to acquire than a steel collar. I'm just gonna get that on there. Other projects in the way. Okay, since I gotta move the, the next project off the table, might as well explain it. Making myself a chainsaw winch. Just gotta drill a hole in the in the auger. We're almost done with this video, but uh, if you'd like to know what's gonna happen with this one, please subscribe. Alrighty, back with the auger. So I'm just gonna drill a pilot hole so I can put this self-tapping screw in. I know it self-taps, but uh, I'm going through hard in the steel here. But yeah. I'm gonna try it with the counter pin, see how it does. Still gotta put like a little hex in the bolt so it doesn't slip. There isn't that much ice left outside. Winter's almost over, but uh, see if we can't drill a couple of holes in the pavement, at least. What a boon, what a doer, what a dream come a truer was he. 